casual player, very relaxed player. He's a five-step player, holds the ball low like this. Very short backswing. He's as accurate as they come, and he's as cool as they come. Backswing, shoulder height, which is higher than I thought it was. Short follow-through, but he's always in the pocket, always around the target. Average 240 here, so it's for his ability. This is, this is his first seniors event ever, and he ran away from it with the field. He skipped the two tournaments earlier this year, last week's tournament down in Erlanger, and of course the opening stop in Las Vegas because he was so busy at home working that he just couldn't get out. And I guess some of his friends said, hey, bus, <laughs> I know you're making money here, but get out there and bowl and see what you can do. And obviously they were right in sending him out because he led this tournament from wire to wire. Opening shot, championship match, Glenn Allison on the left-hand lane. Is it too much room? Ooh! Pin fell right around that seven pin. Soft shot there, gave it plenty of room. The three shots he threw in the tenth of the semifinal game were just pretty as a picture. Especially the first two, you know. Cross lane at the seven pin. Get himself out of here with a spare to start the match. And he has it, no problem. Buss Oswald, he is uh, the youngster on tonight's telecast. He is 50, 6'2", 195. 17 years he's been a PBA member. Captured the National Resident Pro Championship. That does not count as a PBA national title. His first effort right through the nose and the Greek church. And it just appeared he was a bit slow and a bit nervous on that shot. He, the ball was in close to the 14th board as he let it go. I know his target is out around 12. As you watch him throw this shot, it's left of target here, way left. It's close to the third arrow, and he's aiming a couple boards right of that. It bites right here. <laughs> Five he gets. He's going to aim at the three on the right and hope to slide something over and hope something good happens. And that it doesn't. Eight out gives Allison the early lead. That's a nightmare to start with in a title match. Well. If you're going to get five and eight, it's better to do it when you're not going to lose count than it is later on. So if there's a silver lining at all to that, we see there 17 years a member. Eight 300 games in his career had a high effort of 290 this week. He's got to shift into high gear in a hurry, though. This shot looks much better. Flush and he strikes. So Oswald bounces back in the second. And everybody has chosen to finish on lane 39. Allison is going to have to finish on the tougher lane 40. The lane that has given the players the most trouble tonight. This is Glenn's first appearance in the championship round this year. And the first since he finished third in this tournament back in 1983. So obviously the Hall of Fame lanes in Canton, Ohio have been a very friendly place to bowl. And Allison stuck. That shot on the right-hand lane, and he seems to have made a pretty nice adjustment on lane 40, Mike. Well, he's just, he's holding on to the ball just that little bit better right now and getting a little more fingers in the shot. Right now, he's got his opponent down, though, and Glenn knows that to win, you got to stomp on him early. Put that pressure on him. So he wants to double here to get out to an early, quick lead. He's in the lead by 12, but he can increase it to 22 if he can get one more. A member of the PBA's Hall of Fame inducted back in 1984, and this is one of the reasons why, because he strikes when the pressure is on. He's doubled to open up here in the title match. And Glennie, who hasn't won in 22 years, was running that one out all the way. Right over about the 13th board, it starts finishing flush now, and he's running it backwards. Perfect. That's the old TWA shot there. <laughs> Wing spread. Oswald needs to double. Gives this one more room. Oh, a solid 10. The first one we've seen tonight by anybody. And a few weak 10s. But that six wrapped right around it. Watch that six pin. Second from the right. It goes right around that 10. Bad break for Oswald. Keeps Allison in the lead by 22. It's got to make him feel a little more confident, though, Mike, the fact that he did throw the ball in the pocket on the right-hand lane. Cross lane at the 10 pin. Has the spare. Yeah. 
The only other time that Buss ended up on national television, bowling as a PBA member, was back in 1976 when he bowled in the Buffalo Open. In that tournament, he won 20 of 24 matches and qualified fifth. That's pretty close to the all-time record that Pappas owns. What was Pappas, 21? 20, 22. 22 and two, I think, is what it was. Yeah, anytime you win 20 matches on the PBA National Tour, you've done something right. Oh. And that is another problem indeed, an 8-10 split. And that and ball appeared, if I, my ears are not uh, deceiving me, as my eyes do sometimes, that it hit the thumb hole right at the end of the lane and ball definitely deflected, leaves the 8-10. I bet he hasn't left an 8-10 all week long. I watched virtually every game of the tournament and uh, don't ever remember that happening, Mike. When you average 240, you don't leave much of anything. So Buzz Oswald, ooh, who just oh. barely nicks the eight pin, tried to slide it over, ball tilted back and forth, but he's dug himself a very deep hole at this stage. Glenn Allison, who's running him out, leads by 36 in the title match. The tournament this week, the final stop, the Hall of Fame lanes in Canton, Ohio. Janet Bueller, the proprietor, just another outstanding year for her, and uh, she can't do enough for you, Mike Durbin, uh, nor the other folks here in Canton. Puts on a tremendous tournament every year here. Allison, up by 36, can just really take a commanding position with a couple more strikes here. Buss Oswalt has certainly given him some help with splits in the first and the fourth. And Glenn Allison working on a double leads by 36 and would be off to the races if he struck here. Oh, and knocks that 10th and out of there. Allison can smell it already. He certainly can. And watch the six pin nick the 10 pin this time. Allison appeared to lose that ball too, but it rolled back solid. I would be remiss if I didn't thank all of the PBA staff members that have worked so closely with us all summer long. Of course, the National Tournament Director Harry Golden, Assistant National Tournament Director Harry Smith, Public Relations Director Bud Fisher, and in the press room all summer long, the incomparable Tour Press Director Johnny Campos and also Broadcast Director Jeff Pyatt. And let's not forget our TV Coordinator, Hall of Famer, Chuck Pisano. Allison likes it, and oh my, up jumps an 8-10 as he grimaces when he turns around, and Oswald is still in the ball game. Oswald, Steph, watch the ball deflect. The five is going to go in front of the eight. The ball will deflect to the right, and the five goes in front of the eight. The ball just was in the oil too much, not enough lift. He needs to get one here to save the count. And he does. But that keeps Oswald within 32 pins. He's not very much alive, but he's still alive. Time he is of the essence. He must double. If, he just, this, if, if Allison would have struck there, he would have taken a lead of over 50 pins. Uh, this effort is going to have to be strike, strike, or he is going to have difficulty. Oswald with his back to the wall, hit the pocket with the last shot on this lane, jumps up and strikes. So you have to start, you have to strike one at a time. Buzz with 54 in the fourth frame, strike up in the fifth. This ball finishes better, the six pin, second from the right this time, knocks out that 10. Most important shot of the week coming up right now for Buzz Oswald, though he is down 32, can cut into that lead to 22 if he can double here. Crucial double, and Buzz never wastes much time in heading to the foul line. Stretches out, lets it go, leans down, and strikes. Big double for Buzz Oswald. He's lined up now. 